The starter this the starter this afternoon is Greg Kuhn. He's from Orlando as the horses move in behind the gate. The overwhelming favorite on the rail, number one, Riyadh. He is one to nine. Lots of action on the sixth Broadway Blue. That's because he's from uh, Chardon, Ohio. People are watching him as well. As they race into the turn and go to the first team on the outside, Captain Fantastic racing on the outside. Now fourth and moving up, Broadway Blue, fifth to the rail, Shadow Light down the back side, Columbus Avenue, six in Corner Big Trails of Field. As they race over to the first quarter mile, opening quarter to Speedy, 26 and four. As they race into the turn, up on the outside. bit of a surprise Earl the way that uh, Riyadh did not go immediately to the lead but did reclaim just after the quarter pull. It was a little risky I think uh, but Riyadh uh, reclaimed easily and he won easily although you can see here the lines are loose he's not exactly pulling Jim Morrell's uh, arms out ready to rumble the second half of the Bill Robinson stable entry in this division came on strongly at the end after a perfect two hole trip and was beaten what half a length in 153 and one. And the others to qualify were Captain Fantastic and Incorrigible Big. Post race from that first elimination, let's go trackside with Marty. I wonder if it was strategy that you were off the gate, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, definitely. He's he's a funny little horse. He does everything perfect, but if you get him up into position too quick, and he gets up on that gate, he's really he tries right on the top of it. He's tough. You can't shut him down if you do that. That's the first thing that we noticed uh, as you left the gate and then going to the quarter pole, you let a horse into the two hole. Or was that strategy as well? Yeah, well, I, you know, I figured if I could get get the horse on the outside out of the way, then brush to the front will work out good. You know, it's, I figured the four to leave. I've watched him race a lot of times and he's got real big speed. And I figured I'd let him go and retake and or if anybody else was left out there that I'd just deposit him and uh, come. Actually, I had my eye on you for most of the mile, and you seemed to be sitting pretty cool like you knew this, but really it was a lot tougher than you expected. Yeah, well, like I said, this Ready to Rumble horse is a real underestimated horse. Now, he sat in the two-hole about three weeks ago, I guess it was, at Freehold to Life Sign and went by Life Sign in the stretch. So this is no bad horse to have come up alongside you in the stretch. I do have to ask you this question. I saw assistant trainer Marty Gelrod talking to you. What was he saying to you after the race? Um, he noticed the horse was running in a little bit in the turns, and uh, he wears a burrhead pole loose, and he wanted me to tell, uh, tell his assistant, uh, Carl Conti, to put the head pole up tight for the final. So we'll see a little change in the equipment. Yeah, not much, but a little bit. Riyadh winning the first elimination of the Little Brown Jug, returned 220, 210, and 210. Ready to rumble, $3 and 210. Captain Fantastic third and 210 to show. 